So how are you doing? Ralph here, Ralphie Customs. This was going to be a vlog. I even filmed the intro and I've started stitching it together. But it's been completely taken over, let me just... By the uh, upside downy front tender. Yeah, so we're, we're cracking on with that. So I'm going to turn it into that fucker. So follow me for adventures fitting the front wheel and everything else in this upside down front end. So you can see where I've skimmed across. I've done two cuts so far and it's not even touched these areas that are untouched. See how undulating the surface was. Here we go then. Both sides dressed off. Ready to rock and roll. That's finished. Bottom yoke. This top yoke we've now got to countersink these holes to take the riser bolts which um, Need an 18 mil bore making. I've not got an 18 mil end mill. Well, I've got an 18 mil end mill, but it's a rough end mill. So uh, I think that's going to do it. Here we go. Brand new rough end mill. I reckon that'll do us. So that we can sit these bolts in nice and flush and um, we can trim them off to the right length. So the handlebars will be mounted. Um, and then we need to look at the petrol tank and the steering stops and the front wheel obviously so uh, busy 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 okay in order to register these riser holes to do the um, relief to counterbore them basically what I've done is I've got some stainless rod that fits nicely in the holes and I've set it up with a drill chuck and I've moved my X and Y axis until it just lines up that just fits the hole um, and I'll lock those off and then I'll switch out my tool into my 16 mil um, and do the deed awesome so now we can bring the cutter down until it just touches on we don't need to worry about being super accurate it's just a counterball for the, the bolt head so we'll just bring that Kneel, there we go, touch on, and we'll zero it off. And we know we need to go 12 millimeters, so we'll go there's two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna go 10, I'm gonna leave two. I like that look. Just so there's a little bit of shoulder showing, a little bit of cheeky pe peeking out. There we go. So that's that pocket done. Do the same with the other side. There you go. A little bit showing. And let's get the chunk. Rise is on. Right, I'll get the shows back in. Now they're all cleaned up. Uh, look at making the front wheel spacers, spindle spacers and all that. So we're, we're back together. Uh, I've got the breakout wheel spindle. Well, the, the spindle that was through this wheel, I need to double check, but it screws very nicely into the Ducati foot bomb, which is a blessing. 
Um, obviously it's over length and it's undersized this end so I think what my first job is going to be shorten the spindle so check the thread see if I can cut the thread and cut that much more thread so it screws chop the end off that would be the right length make a bush that fits the fork and the spindle goes through nicely and then we're looking at wheel spacers each side and that wheel will be in so I think we'll, uh, we'll have a good measure up and you'll probably see me again at the lathe so first things first I'm going to make it the spacer I've worked out it needs to be 44.5 millimeters long we've got a there you go here the 20 mil long and it needs to be 25 mil OD. Now I'm going to use this stainless, I've got some stainless bar here. Um, I got given it a while ago and I don't know what grade it is but I know it's tough as fuck. So I'm going to cheat a bit. I've not faced off, I've gone in straight in with a pilot hole. Um, now I'm going to open it out to 10 mil with enough depth to give myself what I need to do. Let me just check that I've got enough hanging out. I might have to move it. It's got to be how long? 44.5. Well, that's not going to go, is it? So, I've centred it, but now I'm moving it. Look. In engineering terms, it's a bit of a naughty, but I won't tell if you don't tell. Um, so, I'm going to make some noise and I'm going to steadily bore this out. To the right side. So, I've said we've done a pilot, uh, sorry, we've done a sensor drill. Now we're going to pilot it and I'm going to aim for 50 mil deep It's just zero in the tool if you like. It's just marking it over the 10 mil line on the end there. Now lock it off. And so we'll go quickly. Don't want anything to do quickly. Actually, that's going to arrive. So I'll join you again when we're near the size. And now we're going in with a three quarter bit, which my throw is about the right size. Instead, going to chatter a bit on the first part. Coming off that pretty speed, nice and steady. It'll work on my ears. Right, and that's that drilled out. Seems a bit warm. So I'll let that cool down. I'll check the size, face it off, set the outside down, bish bash bosh. Right, so even warm, that's not going in there. And we're going to need to have a boring bar out, aren't we? We'll drop the boring bar on the job. Well, probably move the other properly. There we go. So we'll keep it slow, I think, because of the stainless. And we'll just give that a little kiss. Just like that, we'll check the size after it's cut a little bit. There we go. That's rather sedate, actually. What I will do, I'll just pull it out level with the end and zero my DRO so I know to expect around 50 millimetres for getting to the end. So, let's just do that preliminary cut. Give it a measure. That's 19.75. 19.6. And this spindle is 19.9. So we need 0.3, which is 0.15 outwards, isn't it? So oh, I think it's 0.3 because we've got the DRO set on off. Let's see what that does, eh?
So that's now to, to size, the oldster size. I've checked the spindle at the fence. I face the end off, it's a bit tough. Um, I'm hoping I've not bitten off more than I can chew. Uh, top tip I got from Joe Pozinska. Check out his channel, Joe Pye. Is I've zeroed my DR or I've, I've done my dial gauge or I've took a measurement, whatever, off, off this face edge. I've used my DR because I've got one, you might not have one. And I've gone along the length that I want, which is 44.5, and I give myself a little witness mark. And then if the stock creeps, because the stock is quite tough, and the jaws might not grip it hard enough to stop it moving when I'm machining it. Oh no, because I've got that little witness mark to reference. So there you go. So now we take a cut, as always, zero DRO, take a cut and have a measure. Look at that. Wow, that's a stinger, isn't it? You don't want them wrapped around your wrist. That's going to be a bad day. Let's have a measure. What do we want? 25 millimetres. Wow. We're way off that. I'm going to change my tool actually. So we're 30 at the minute. I'm going to change this tool. Because look at the bird. That's not having it. I'm not doing that to it. That's just going to fuck up. So we'll put a, a big nasty in. I like these. I don't know the code. It worked well. And we'll machine this down to a 25. We'll clean up the shoulders, we'll have it off. Not sure if we're gonna cut it and then turn it around and face it, or whether we're gonna try and uh, part it off. The old partic thistle on it, not sure. We'll see how it goes. But I'll join you again when I'm nearer the end. Just coming up on uh, the final cut. This thing's fucking smoking. Literally smoking. I don't mean yeah. I don't mean of exceptional quality, although that goes without saying. And it's fucking smoking. 25.19. If anything, we want it a little bit undersized, not slightly over. So uh, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take point 0.2 off, just do a real skinny cut, a little bit of oil on, there we go, point 0.02, make okay. some noise, now the oil was smoking before we even started cooking cutting, well, I need to turn my tip now and after this, this will give us a lovely finish, and should put us right on fire. So while that's doing its magic out, put that corner. Put it inside. A bit too fast, but we'll clean it up after this cut. And uh, we'll just part that off, I think. And we should be. Slow this down. See, I tried to go in with a deep bearing tool and it chattered. That's because it's running too fast, so we'll try it a bit slower. Look, there you go. Jobs are good. We'll slow this down for the parting operation. And uh, then we've done it. I wasn't going to bore you with this parting off, but. Um, I am. I'm showing you my mind. I'm going to do it under power feed and I think it might produce some lovely curly whirlies and uh, quite a bit of smoke which is always good to get on camera. It might bugger the tip up as well which is a, a very real fucking possibility. So I've got my hand on the lever in case I need to knock it off. Right. Break that edge quick. Don't worry too much about the lady chatter, Liz. Look at that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you all. On to the spindola. Now, 
this is 34 mil too long and we need to take this m18 by 1.5 thread onto the new bit that we're going to do so what i thought i'd do is machine it down to size which is just under them i know it's an 18 m18 thread but the major size is actually 17 point fucking something it's 18 that is actually calling me a liar yeah, 1783 in real money. Yeah, so we'll turn this down to just under 18. Um, we'll have, we'll pot off fucking 34 mil. And we'll give ourselves a, this has got a radius, a radius cut into it. We'll give ourselves a radius to work to or a bit of uh, thread relief or a bit of both. Yeah, so first thing I'm going to do, crack up the old lathe. Actually 23 mil, so we'll zero that again. Go 23 mil, and we're going to make the fucking chuck if we do that. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to double check my measurements. Join me again shortly. So we did double check, and we decided to go a little bit shorter. So there's a second mark and that is going to be the end, it's going to replicate its end, so we're going to fuck it off there we're going to turn it down to 18 mil first to this point give yourselves a thread relief then fuck it off there and thread it down there so, so scream if you want to go faster, we'll take it a few light cuts, not that fucking light we we'll take a few cuts to get us down to size. And you can join me again when we're there. Okay. Not to light finishing cut. Near the machine but it's humming. There's a puppet. Every single fucking bit of material on this job. It's put up a fight. If you're watching this deck, fuck it, you know, man. Woohoo! Oh, what a fucking adventure. Right. Um, that's to there. That's to there. Shut the fuck up. Thank God for that. Hey. Right, let's have a measure. If my calculations are correct, which they really are, we're just under 18. 17.8. Maybe a bit bigger. 17.8. 17.75 so yeah we're good now i'm going to pot this off i'll do my fucking best to pot this off so just don't run bear with just reversing the feed so i can use power feed and across the line drop the uh, speed down and we're going to touch on that end. And we said we'd go 36, didn't we? So we zero that. And we go, that's 3 mil, so we want 39. Ooh, not 48. Fuck it up. That was about a quick, didn't it? 39.4. Oh, 38.98. There we go. Bang on the money. There's quite a bit sticking out there to part off, but. Give it a well, surely. It's the worst that can happen. Again, scream if you want to go faster. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. I made a mistake to make up. Just get this back. It's 36. There. 
Right. And try again. Here we go. Plenty of oil. That's going to go straight off. Boom. Cheers, then. Thanks for coming. I'll show you what I've done, look. Safety cuts out. So, in order to get the pitch right on the threads, we have to change the change gears. Everyone talks about it, the change gears. It's simple on this because I just have to turn these two, swap them over, and then alter this angle because that's big. So if I just change them over, they'll fit each other, but this one will be full short of the gearbox, the main gearbox drive comes out of here through these gears into the Norton 36 speed, I think it's called. So we just swap them around and onto the angle of the dangle here. And then, we look at a plate. Shut up a minute. We can see, to get 1.5 thread, we need uh, the right hand lever to the right, the other two levers to the right, and this selector in that peg. So that will now, once we engage the screw here, this bottom one's for power feed for along and across. We're not using that for screw cutting, obviously for thread cutting. Um, we engage that dog there, that manual clutch. And that makes that turn, yeah. And we've got a counter that I can't get to. There we go. So we've got a dial there we can use to reference when we start and we use this big lever to engage it and that will get it moving along look there you go that's what we're going to do we've uh, already we know that's the size and we've blacked it up ready so we can take a scratch pass I'll put you back Right, time for the scratch pass. So I've touched on, zeroed off, got everything set up. I'm going to take one run um, and I'm going to check with my gauge, a little toothy gauge to make sure that we are at 1.5 where we need to be. And if we are, we'll endeavour onwards and upwards, won't we? So I'm just going to feed it in just a little bit for the scratch pass. Quarter of a mil. Out. I'm going to wait till a number comes around on the gauge and then we're off. Yeah. Back this out, run the machine in zero, uh, sorry in reverse, get that out of the way. Check that. Let's have a look. Come on. Oh, yeah, the fuck it out. Near as fuck it is to swearing. So I'll carry on doing that. You've seen me do it loads. Get a thread cut and then uh, that spindle will be done. Sorted. Okay, so whew, we've done that. We've run that backwards and forwards and up and down and around the houses. This is a bit out of the forks that it screwed into it. Right? just firms up so it's actually not much wrong with that I'm going to take a quick spring pass and I'm going to file over it let's give it a quick spring pass what I've actually done I've gone back to using the uh, dial for I'm pointing to it like you can see it but I've got I've disengaged the lead screw and re-engaged it when I've needed to because this is put up a bit of a struggle. I needed to try it on. So I had to fuck about with where I was at. Let me just wind this in to spring pass minus 0.22. What was that? So I'm going to go minus 0.22. Another, <laughs> another two, two hundred seven millimetre. I wait for a line to come around. And away we go. So, that forward with a bit of that action massage it in there yeah I think this will be all set look it's nice there it's firming up 
But I've got greasy hands in each round, you know, I'm not got a big spanner on it, have I? Uh, there's nothing, there's no play in there at all. Alright, that's bang on. So that spindle is ready to fit into the forks. So now we can look at wheel spacers and the like, can't we? Awesome. Right, so we're on another day. I put a stainless bar back in. I'm going to use it up, not use all of it up, but I'm going to use it to make the um, wheel spacers. Now, after much fucking trial and error and deliberation, we worked out the spacers needed. So I'm going to make two wheel spacers, 13.8 and 11.5, because the wheels dished. The cent it's not central, the hub's not central. And we need to take that discrepancy out and get it wide enough to fit in the, the uh, forks there. So I'm gonna face this up, well, I'm gonna cut that off first and then I'm gonna face it off and we're gonna go down with a 20 mil clearance and make two spaces the right length, sorted. Oakley, fucking Oakley, and I say it like that because we had a game. The math was wrong. We had to mock it up and, and sort of shit out. And we've made them lovely stainless spaces now that actually fit. The front end is actually all together and actually works. And um, we've got to put some steering stops on. I'll just move that out of the way so I can pinch a shot. Put the steering stops on. And uh, grab a quick photo. Let's get mine in the background. Look at that. That's badass. And do a few other bits and bobs. But that's that part of the job. Well and truly done. Thanks for watching. If you stuck through all three, all three things, you'll see how uh, how involved it ended up. And uh, I'm really glad that we finally got there. I just need to, like I say, do a few other bits and bobs that I won't bother filming because. As far as fitting the front end goes, that job's finished. Yeah? Please check out my other videos. Please give me a like and a sub. Check out my friends in the description below. Have a great one. Lots of love, everyone.